wake up in the middle of the night feeling choked feeling paralyzed you can go on to eat sleep have sex walk around hit somebody and do pretty much everything in your sleep welcome to the world of parasomnias yani ki sone ki problems so what are parasomnias in a nutshell they are abnormal behaviors around sleep a lot of the population struggles from parasomnia we going to talk about some interesting ones now sleep paralysis as a parasomnia is extremely scary for the person the most common type of hallucination that people report is incubus as if there's chest pressure they could be vestibular motor hallucination as if the world is shaking and the bed is shaking for them and as if an intruder has entered their room and they keep on trying to look for a person in that sleep paralysis state it happens because when the brain is changing gears between the nrem and rem or the other way around it gets stuck the gear box gets stuck so the flip flop switch mechanism gets affected and as a result you feel the muscles are paralyzed which is from the rem stage but i am aware of everything which is from the nrem stage you're no longer dreaming no it is not a dream cutting out alcohol avoiding too much of stimulating movies at night too much of gore and bloodshed at night can be helpful as well what if my partner finds out about my past because i sleep talk this is a question i've been actually asked by a patient who used to sleep talk don't worry you're not going to possibly tell your password or your deepest darkest secrets most of sleep talking or somnolocky is actually gibberish it doesn't make sense but yes some people can speak full fledged sentences sleep talking is really common and often sometimes associated with sleep walking or somnambulism you may find yourself cleaning the house you may find yourself in a different room you may find yourself just walking around the house sometimes walking the streets which can be fairly dangerous sleep walking happens when your eyes are still open but you're actually in a trance like state now another important thing that some people do while sleep walking is sleep related eating disorder or eating while sleeping they may go on to make full fledged meals while sometimes they may just take whatever is in front of them even if it's inedible and disgusting and eat it up one more sleep related issue that we see not very common but may really bother you is something called sex somnia meaning having sex in your sleep and having no recollection of that same of course a partner may let you know while some may just masturbate in their sleep and have no idea whatsoever around it nightmare would happen typically in the rem cycle when the dreams are happening you may remember the dream you may wake up while the night terror usually seen in children you may have seen them getting really really jittery in their sleep screaming shouting crying moaning that is a night terror you may not remember what were you really dreaming about have you ever had this eerie experience where you are going to sleep or you're waking up from your sleep and you feel somebody's calling out your name that is a hallucination yes sleep related hallucinations are called hypnagogic or hypnopompic depending on when do they happen if they happen while going to sleep they call hypnagogic if they happen in the early waking hours they call hypnopompic they're fairly common they're fairly normal you could have them when you've been sleep deprived you could even have them when you're missing someone or you've lost someone so why do these parasomnias happen there are a bunch of reasons starting from genetic to neurological sleep deprivation even stress mental health conditions they could be over stimulation that from the devices that we get at night watching too much of gory content and sometimes even drug use what to do if you're having one or more of the conditions that i described first of all please don't self diagnose see the right specialist you can speak to a neurologist a neuropsychiatrist a sleep medicine specialist at the same time ensure that you get plenty of rest you do not have erratic hours of sleep engage in sleep hygiene avoid drug use ensure safety of self and that of the partner the thing i'd really like you to try is something called relaxation techniques at the sleep time they help you progressively fall into better quality of sleep what not to try is extremely important to address as well please do not beat up the person having these parasomnias these are not possessions by the devil or the evil these are disorders with proper treatment at the right time